Hello YouTube, this is Sam from Weekendly. Today, um, this was a suggested video. It's a bit different, we'll be doing a scooter tutorial on the really easy tricks for like fresh scooter starters. I so this video is normally for people that like are desperate to know tricks that are like easy. You can learn like in with within the first day. Just to get some tricks down to feel a little bit proud and I did that method too and within the first six months of my of my scootering I have learned seven tricks and I think this really helped me so I'm going to do it for you guys that are watching this video. First trick is the bunny hop. Now this trick is actually fairly simple. You can learn it within the first day even if you, if you first put foot on the scooter and actually start riding because that's how I did it. And it will take a few goes if you just start but you'll definitely get in less than a day. Alright, so when you start off trying to learn, definitely go slow. Go like this speed, because if you go too fast, it would be really scary for you. You move, and then you like bend your legs down, you bend your knees down, not too high and not too low, about this level, and then push off with your feet. For your deck to actually lift up with you, you like push to make like to jump and then push off like that and then when you're in the air you pull up your bars to give your scooter more sta space go higher you in the air you also bend your leg legs and kind of go into like a top position bit like that so then you put all these together so i'll show you and there you have your bunny hop so the next trick is a j hop so a J hop is very similar to the bunny hop, but it's a little bit more advanced. But if you, but if you master the bunny hop and then tried to do the J hop, you would probably get a first go like me. So I'll show you what it is. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. So here's how you do it. So again, this is very similar. But basically what you do, you lift up the front wheel and then pop up the back wheel by lifting up your legs, feet, sorry. And, then, so, and this can seem scary when you think about it, but as soon as you're about to try it out, you don't care. So how to lift up the bars, you keep your feet like nice and tight on the deck, and then you lift up the bars and you can go off the ground the tiniest bit, even this bit, and still count. And then let your feet off the deck, bending down like doing that, and then just land. That's basically it. So I'll show you once more. So the next trick is fairly, fairly simple. I got it first try. Once you once you can master the J-hop and the bunny hop, it's pretty easy. Um, so it's called the magnet. So what you saw there was my type of magnet. That isn't like the way pe like other people do the magnet, but the way I do it, it still counts. So basically all you have to do is you don't really have to put that much bend into your jump. You can just like do that, but try not to lift up your bars and like jump that high. Like, um, sort of like push it down slightly and then it would be like this and try not to bend that much because that, that still counts anyway so yeah that's basically it now the next one is a 90 now the um, 90 it, it could take a while if you don't do it properly and I'll show you the way to do it that is much more easier than you would probably attempt how you would attempt to do it so I'm going to teach you a 90 that um, most people don't teach, but it definitely is the easier way. So there's literally just one simple trick to make it easier. But first, you have to jump high, like as high as you possibly can. Like do it the same as I taught you with the bunny hop, but actually really try doing it. Like do it, do it the strongest you could ever done. Do it, and guaranteed for it to work. So basically, what you have to do 
you have to turn into it. So only about like here. And then you can jump and direct your wheel where you want to go. But it has to land 90 degrees. But in the air you turn to the direction that you want and you keep it there. So, and you also have to twist your body the way you want to go. And if you're right handed, you go right. And if you're left handed, you go left. And that's basically it to it. You will get it pretty easily. And even if you don't like get it completely accurate, like this, even if you get it like this, that would still count. And the next one is the pogo. This is, after I did this, I actually felt pretty proud of myself. And, um, yeah, I'm just gonna show you, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. The fifth and final trick is a no footer. I'll show you what that looks like. So, basically, what you do, you jump on your scooter, and you kind of do that and you have to lift your thing off the ground and so I recommend you um place your feet on the side of each other so it's easier to like do the air motion and then basically you do the exact same motion as the um, bunny hop but lift up your bars a lot do like this as quick as you can and yeah, make sure to jump high too. So, yeah, good luck with that one. It's really fun to do once you learn it and be consistent with it. So, yeah, um, yeah. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this helped you fresh starters. And I hope that makes you feel a lot more confident and definitely a lot more proud of yourself. And I hope you learn all these tricks. Best luck for you learning them, and I'll see you next time.